Hello all you fans of stories. This is episode number 78 of Storytelling with Seth. I'm your host, Seth Singleton, and for this episode, I am really lucky to sit down with Megan O'Russell and hear her amazing story and her journey from performing on the stage to becoming a self-published author of 19 books in 19 months. It was quite the discovery for me, and I'm really thankful I get the chance to share this episode with you. Quick reminder, before the interview begins, you'll hear a few ads. These are part of a uh, project I'm lucky enough to participate in with Anchor, promoting voting and voter information. Thanks for understanding the need for these ads to play before the conversation. And please consider all the resources as they can be extremely helpful when it comes to your own voting experience. The election is coming up soon. And of course, once it's over, things will return back to normal and we'll resume the normal advertising interview and storytelling with Seth's structure. So thanks for listening along to the following ads and the great conversation that follows. Episode number 78 with Megan O'Russell. Another episode of Storytelling with Seth. It's my pure and absolute luck and uh, the kindness of those I've just met that I'm sitting down today with the amazing Megan O'Russell has quite an extensive history, and it's led her to this great place of writing and storytelling. I'm looking forward to talking about all of it with her so you can enjoy it too. But first, I'm gonna allow Megan to do an introduction and just sort of tell us a little bit about what we should know off the bat. Megan, thank you for being on Storytelling with Seth. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Uh, And a little introduction about me. I guess the, the easiest place to start would be that I am a storyteller. I have spent my entire life on stage, literally since I was four. Uh, And about eight years ago, that love of storytelling sort of morphed from being purely theatrical to becoming an author as well and telling stories through books. And I've had a very long journey with several publishers involved. And I, in 2019, set out as an indie author on my own. And through that journey, ended up publishing 19 books in 19 months. So it was quite the adventure. Well, it certainly sounds like it. I mean, one, you've got so many great things to consider there, 19 titles in 19 months. Did you write each one per month or? Out of the publishing industry. And Then I found two more publishers, one for my Girl of Glass series and one that had contracts for the Tale of Brian Adams series and the Chronicles of Maggie Trent. They also ended up signing the Tethering series. And so at the end of 2018, I had 16 books under contract with two different publishers. And in the span of about three weeks, one of my publishers shut down in a in in the friendliest and most respectable way that can happen. And the other one just started tanking to the point where I could no longer excuse ignoring the warning signs of what I knew was going to happen. So I took all the rights to all of my books back and I had a a very sad chat with my agent who basically said, you know, all of these books have been tainted at this point with, you know, bad publisher reputations and they've all been out in the world before. So there's really not a chance of us getting them a contract at a big name publisher where you'd be safe from these things happening. So you can either shelve them or self-publish them. It makes no difference to me was sort of the response. Mm -hmm. And I was unwilling to shelve them. And so I, you know, drank a couple of bottles of wine and ate way too much ice cream and decided that I was going to do it on my own. So when I started down the road to publishing the 19 books in 19 months, let me do a quick count in my head. (laughs) (laughs) You're allowed. I'm a terrible Uh, math person, so you're fine in my book. So at that point, seven of the books had been completed. Um, So they were written before I started. Others had been partially started, but then 
I sort of stopped working on them because I was waiting on, you know, edits on the earlier books in the series, because if you're going with a traditional publisher, you should never write the sequel before you get content edits on the first book or you end up with huge inconsistencies. Don't do it. Um, but I went through and I re-edited and changed the things that I hadn't liked that my editors from the traditional publishers has sort of forced on me. And I finished those series and I published them and I started the Anno Vilbrea series, which was the first of my series to have never touched a publisher or agent's hands at all. So that was fun. And mm. once I, you know, finished the Tethering series, finished the Girl of Glass series, finished the Anna of Abrea series, put out the three books in the Chronicles of Maggie Trent. The final book in the Bryant Adams series is coming out in November. And then book one in the Guilds of Abrea series, all of that put together ended up being 19 books. There's also a couple novellas tossed in there, but you know, <laughs> they're shorter. But yeah, it, it ended up being 19 books and I hadn't planned it that way. That wasn't the goal. It was just a matter of I sincerely felt that even though my my publisher shutting down was not my fault, it does sometimes feel like maybe I'm a curse on small presses, like maybe there's something about me that just makes them shut down. But really, realistically, it's not my fault. But I felt like I had betrayed my readers by offering them the beginning of these series and asking them to invest you know, their hearts and their time in these characters and then never completing the story cycle for them. And so that really what my goal was, was to complete these story cycles so that my readers could know how the series ended. Thank you.